Have you ever had a vacation turn into a nightmare? Well, that happened to me on my first solo trip. I was young, adventurous, and excited to explore the world on my own. Little did I know my journey would take a terrifying turn, plunging me into a world of fear and uncertainty. Unexplainable events, strange encounters, and a chilling realization that I was not alone in the unknown. So brace yourselves as I unravel the eerie tale of my first solo trip. Let me take you through my terrifying experience. With a backpack full of excitement, I chose a quaint little town as my destination. It was a place that promised a peaceful respite from the hustle and bustle of city life. I reveled in the thrill of the unknown, the joy of exploration, and the sheer anticipation of a journey that was mine and mine alone. In the days leading up to the trip, I meticulously planned my itinerary. From the must-see attractions to the local delicacies I wanted to try, I had it all chalked out. The excitement was palpable, but there was also a twinge of apprehension. Call it intuition, or just nerves. But there were moments of doubt that I shrugged off as mere jitters. A few odd dreams, a misplaced passport, a broken shoelace. These small hiccups felt like subtle hints from the universe, warning me of what was to come. But I chose to ignore these premonitions, attributing them to pre-travel anxiety. As the departure day approached, a sense of unease started creeping in. Upon my arrival, the locals gave me strange, unwelcoming looks. The small town, seemingly charming with its cobblestone streets and antique buildings, was suffused with an eerie quiet. The locals, clad in their old-fashioned attire, eyed me with a mix of curiosity and suspicion. Their frosty stares followed me around, piercing through my excitement and replacing it with a growing unease. As I ventured deeper into the town, my trusted technology companion, my phone, began to falter. The GPS, which had been my guiding star on countless trips, started glitching. Streets I was supposed to turn onto didn't exist, and the friendly robotic voice leading me seemed to grow more confused by the minute. I found myself being directed away from the town center and towards the outskirts where the houses were fewer and the forest thicker. The quaint town charm quickly morphed into an unsettling isolation. I found myself lost in a labyrinth of winding paths and towering trees, far from the familiar hum of civilization. Suddenly the trip that had started as an adventure was taking on a darker tone. The cheerful chirping of birds was replaced by an ominous rustling of leaves and the distant hooting of an owl. My heart pounded in my chest as I realized that I was lost in an unknown place with nothing but a malfunctioning phone for company. Little did I know, this was just the beginning of my nightmare. As I ventured deeper into the town, I encountered a mysterious old woman. She was hunched over, her weathered skin etched with lines like a roadmap of her life. She had an air of mystery around her, like she knew secrets about this place that no one else did. Her eyes, though clouded with age, held a kind of knowing wisdom. She looked at me, her gaze piercing the very core of my being. With a voice that seemed to echo from a forgotten time, she warned, Beware of the moon's shadow. When it cloaks the town, the unseen becomes visible. I stared at her, a chill running down my spine. Her words seemed like riddles, cryptic and puzzling. I laughed it off then, attributing it to local folklore or the ramblings of an old woman. I didn't understand her words then, but they would soon haunt me. Night fell, and with it came the realization that my accommodations were not just misrepresented online, but abandoned. A chill ran down my spine as the truth of my situation began to sink in. I was stranded in the middle of nowhere, in a town that had clearly forgotten the warmth of human contact. The once inviting pictures of a rustic cabin nestled amidst nature's beauty now seemed like a cruel joke. The reality was a dilapidated structure, with its eerie silence interrupted only by the howling wind. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, the walls echoing with the stories of its long-forgotten inhabitants. As I tried to make sense of my predicament, a sudden noise broke the silence. A rustling outside, like the soft whisper of leaves against the wind. But it was more than that. It was an unnatural sound, as if something was moving stealthily in the dark, circling the cabin. The noises grew louder, more insistent. The wind seemed to carry whispers, unintelligible words that gnawed at the edges of my sanity. I could feel my heartbeat echoing in the hollow cabin, each thump amplifying the terror coursing through my veins. Every shadow in the room took on a menacing form, every creak of the cabin became a harbinger of doom. I felt the hairs on the back of my neck stand up, a primal instinct warning me of danger. There was a distinct feeling of being watched, of invisible eyes boring into me. The realization hit me like a ton of bricks. I wasn't alone, something or someone was watching me, 
Suddenly I found myself being chased by an unseen entity in the woods. The air around me was thick with dread, and the eerie silence of the forest was broken only by the rustle of leaves under my frantic feet and the chilling echo of whatever was in pursuit. Every snapped twig, every unseen movement sent waves of terror rippling through me. I could feel its presence growing stronger, the unseen predator closing in, its pursuit relentless. I was running blind with no sense of direction, my breath coming out in ragged gasps. The forest was a labyrinth, and I was trapped in its heart, pursued by an invisible terror. I could feel the fear taking over, the primal instinct of survival pushing me to my limits. It felt as if the very trees were watching me, their gnarled branches reaching out like skeletal hands, ready to snatch me into their dark embrace. The whispering wind seemed to carry ominous warnings, and every shadow seemed to hide unspeakable horrors. I stumbled, my foot catching on a hidden root. I scrambled to my feet, the taste of fear bitter in my mouth. I pushed myself to keep moving, driven by the unshakable feeling of being hunted. I could hear it, whatever it was, getting closer. The rustling leaves, the snapping twigs, the low growl that seemed to vibrate through the very air around me. My heart pounded in my chest as I ran for my life. Just when I thought it was the end, I stumbled upon a hidden path leading back to civilization. I could feel my heartbeat in my throat, each pulse pounding like a drum in sync with my desperate footsteps. The path was narrow, winding, almost as if nature itself was guiding me away from the ominous darkness that had threatened to swallow me whole. The forest around me was a living, breathing entity, whispering secrets only the wind understood. My shoes crunched on the gravel, a stark contrast to the eerie silence that had blanketed the town. I could see the faint glow of lights in the distance, a beacon of hope in the sea of uncertainty. I pushed forward, my heart pounding in rhythm with the desperate hope that filled my veins. The ominous shadows receded, replaced by the comforting familiarity of civilization. As I emerged from the forest, I could feel the weight lifting off my shoulders. I was back in the land of the living, I flagged down a passing car and hitched a ride back to the city. As the town disappeared in the rearview mirror, I felt an overwhelming sense of relief, but it was laced with a lingering fear that sent chills down my spine. I was out, but the memories of that nightmarish town remained, etched into my mind like a grim reminder of the darkness that lurked in the unknown. I was safe, but the horror was far from over. Escaping the town, I learned some valuable lessons about traveling alone. The thrill of independence, the allure of the unknown, had led me into a nightmare I never could have anticipated. I learned the importance of caution, of preparation, of listening to the whispers of intuition that we too often ignore. This terrifying experience wasn't just a travel horror story, but a profound reminder of our vulnerabilities when we step out of our comfort zones. It changed my perspective on solo travel, making me realize that the excitement of new experiences should never eclipse the need for safety and awareness. I also learned that sometimes the most chilling horrors are the ones we carry with us. No matter how far we travel, these shadows follow, whispering in our ear, reminding us of our past. But as I settled back home, a mysterious message related to that trip arrived, proving the horror wasn't completely over. 